What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video that I've ever created so bear with me if it is not that great. But first of all I just wanted to introduce myself to everybody. My name is Nick and I am the creator and owner of the Community Chess and we are a junk removal service that specializes in reselling the valuables or the physical products that we get both online and locally. That's something a little bit different from us. Most junk removal services um, may recycle or donate, but we actually also sell the products and provide a kickback percentage to the customer that we're working with. So we are based in North Carolina. We are currently in Kernersville, but we operate everywhere in the triad. Uh, but as far as reselling goes, we sell all across the country and even to different parts of the world. In this video, I kind of wanted to tell you a little bit about how our junk removal service works, what we're all about, how the process is, as well as our reselling side of things and what we do in that aspect. All right, so how the junk removal service works is first off, you guys reach out to us via email, text, call, or Instagram DM. We ask that you provide us a couple pictures of the junk you're trying to remove, whether it is a garage full of items all the way up to an entire household full of stuff. Once we've seen the pictures, we'll be able to provide you with a quote within 24 hours of what we think the job is going to cost. After that, we schedule a date and we try to remove the items as soon as possible. Most of our jobs typically take a day or less, depending on the size. We've only had a few jobs that have taken multiple days and those have been houses full of stuff from top to bottom. Once we've taken the items that we can recycle and donate, we work on the valuable goods that we've received and we start selling them online and locally. So with that process, we have the items pictured, we list them and then we sell them and the profit that we get, we actually give a kickback percentage to the customer that we're working with. As far as reselling goes, we have a five-step process. Sourcing, which is acquiring the items. Photography, which is picturing all the items with a white background, beautiful listings so that people are inclined to buy these items. Then we list the items with very detailed descriptions and inventory the items. So everything either goes into one of the bins as you see here, or we have another room with the bigger items. Then. After the item sells, we ship it out or deliver it, depending on if it's local or online, and we take a percentage of the profit that is made and kick it back to the customer. In reselling, we also do local buyouts. So if you are interested in selling your entire closet, we, we do shoes, clothing, physical goods, anything that we can really make a good profit on that is sellable online, we'll take all those items. We can either do a straight buyout or we can consign the items at a percentage if you're interested. Those typically do have to be higher end items so that both we and you can make a good profit on the items. A little bit about myself, I have been reselling for uh, over two years now and I first started with Supreme products. That's when I was in college. I was super into the hype brand stuff, but I never even acquired any uh, for myself. I would buy them online with a, a bot I had and I would resell them for profit. But it, with Supreme Goods, I was only getting you know, one to two items a week and it really wasn't enough for me. I wasn't making anywhere near a full-time income and it was just kind of a side hobby that I had in college. From then I moved on to going to thrift stores, I would do buyouts, I'd do a lot of gaming systems and that I saw that you could make a good profit on things like that. So I started to create a reselling empire. I actually started in the basement of my last house in Greensboro and I'll provide a clip of that here so you guys can see where I started from into where we are now, which is a full reselling commercial space building. And we're working towards getting a warehouse for all the physical goods that we have. After getting into it a little more, I was looking for more ways to acquire items that I could sell online. I started going to thrift stores every day. I would go to the bins, which is the pound store at Goodwill. We have one here in Greensboro where they actually sell the clothing by the pound. I think it's $1.69 a pound for clothing. So I was getting clothing really cheap there and I was able to flip it. But I noticed as time went on, more and more people started to catch on to this idea and the bins became more crowded, thrift stores became more crowded. There was less goods for me to sell for a good profit. A lot of lower end items were there. So I was looking for a way to get more items into our store. And the best way that I figured was a junk removal service. And with that being said, that was one of the best decisions I've ever made. We do junk removal services, you know, around three times a week. 
and you would not believe some of the items that people leave that they want to have junk. I've come across everything from vintage video games all the way up to Grateful Dead clothing that was just stuffed at the bottom of someone's closet that they had not, they didn't want anything to do with. And most people don't even realize the stuff that they leave behind because as everyone says, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And that's what we really like to do here at uh, TCC. We take the goods that people leave behind and as far as the homeowner, we sell all those goods and we kick back a percentage to them. So that was a little bit about what we do here at TCC as far as junk removal and reselling goes in our business. Be on the lookout for other videos as we're going to be posting weekly videos of items we sold over the past week, different junk removal services we have, before and afters, and interesting things that we find along the way. Be sure to subscribe and follow for more. Check the links in the description for our Instagram, our website, and our contact page. Until next time, see you later.